All right, so um, let's extend some pentatonic shapes. So I just think it's fun to do. I mean, I, I much prefer most of the time just... You know, a typical diatonic shred. But pentatonics are fun to shred every once in a while when you get an opportunity to do it. So starting on the A note... We know this is the fifth position in a, a uh, minor pentatonic. Um, well, if we extend that a lot, uh, up a little bit, it's the next position. So we know we'll go together. And the next position on top of that. So we know this, besides this being an octave higher, we have other ways of proving that this would work. For me. Type of concept. Doesn't necessarily sound right, but you know, the, the, the point isn't necessarily to uh, be as. pointlessly bluesy as possible. The point here is to go, well, that's an unusual technique. So we know this, those being the same notes, The reason why I'm doing it this way is because we can. But this, same notes, unless we're slightly out of tune, which we are. I'll fix it. There we go. So, 
Just some things to think about. And that's just C, uh, D, and E. 8, 10, 12 if you need. This is 5, 8, 10. And when I do that, it's only 11. Well, at any rate, you're not learning much out of that, but have fun with it.